Okay. So, first of all, let me clear my Q2 so that everything will be empty. Like all the scripts that will be running today, maybe at the end, are you with, if your, is your house studio on already or do you want to code alongside with me or at the end you get the script? Which one? Yeah, okay, I will go, I will go alongside with you. Then at the end, I will get the script. So how, should I send you a line that you can command, you can run there so that you can get all the scripts over down there? Yeah, um, yes, yes. Okay, I'm coming, just a minute. Let me get the link. Let me get the link, Get uh, up. Okay. But I have to share another screen so that you see. Let me sh stop sharing. Let me share a new screen so that you see what I'm doing. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, I can see your screen, yes. Okay, so what you do there is that first of all, you need to install this package. Install dot packages, I think uh, use, use this from CRAN. This package is in CRAN, okay? So then from there, uh -huh. you use a function from this, use this, use this, Let me load it from my namespace. Use underscore course. Use underscore course. Then you paste this link inside. If you run this, you it will download this script that I'm working presently on alongside all the data sets. You'll be able to, so first of all, you need to run this first, the line two. This line two will grab uh, it will install this package. But if you have this package already, because the last training I run, that is November with research fellow in IIT, I think this package was part of what they installed. So if you have it, just start in your console library, use this. If you did not return any error, then you have the package. Then you run line four. And then from there, you run this other line. Let me put this in the chat also. Let me put it in the chat so that you see the code. Okay. It's in the chat now. Okay. If you run library before you run that code, try this one. If this did not give you any error, that means that you have the package. Don't need, no need, means that you have it. If you try this, if everything is fine, then you don't need to run that line. Try line one. I want, because this package is part of what uh, we installed in that training. Yes, I am. Um... I know, um, but the, 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 the issue now is that uh, I'm using my phone. Okay, okay, okay. So just let's- yeah, that's the issue, I'm using my phone. There's no light now. I'm using let's, my phone, that's the Let's proceed. Let so, me share my main screen. Yeah, so I can do it later also. Let me share my main screen. The thing is this, okay. You can see my new screen. Which screen uh, yes, are you Yes, in? yes, yes. Yes, D by E analysis. Okay, okay. So for you now, if you receive uh, this code, let me run, I want the normal, this is markdown. 
Let me reshare this mark. I don't want that one. Uh, which screen are you seeing? Are you seeing G by E and stability analysis in R? Yes, yes. Okay. So first, firstly, looking at line seven, I said you need to load what the necessary library. You know, library is like those is like a package in which you are loading into R, and those package they are adding additional word function to what R already has. So for you now, if you receive this script. If you do not have those package, like we are using start gen STA, which is for a single trial analysis. We are also using start gen G by E for the genotype by environment interaction. I also loaded That's another right. package called here. Yeah. Uh, this here package uh, is very good when you are working in a like with an R project. And is it helps you to specify your relative parts. It makes uh, coding very easy. That's why I loaded the year package. So first of all, we need I loaded a library called Read Excel to load in my Excel file because the data we are working. Let me clear this. Is an Excel file. So I loaded this like Control Enter. So the library is loaded. I loaded the second library start gen G by E. I loaded start gen STA and also I uh, load the tidyverse. I think the tidyverse, this one is not new. Okay, so everything is loaded. The next thing is that we need the data set. This is the data set that you sent uh, I think it's not new. This is the data set that you sent to me. Yes. Uh, loaded those data. If you check here, let me remove this. If you check here, you can see my where my pointer is showing. We have data. We have our scripts. You receive all this in reference material is there. So if I click on data, we can see the data set. I want to read it. So if I run this line, if I run that line, you can see the data is here. It's showing what? 900 observation of nine variable. That is what you sent to me. Yes. I can look at the head of the data. Remember I, saw, I store everything in an object called data. That is why I am calling the head, which will show us the first six rows so that you'll be clear. We have genotype, we have code. Uh, this code is for the genotype. Then we have environment. We have environment, which is six environment. We have, mm. these are all the response variable, the mealiness, fiber, ADH softness, these are all the response variable. So the, one of the thing in this package is that the first thing for us to do is to create this CD object. This CD object is like a trial data, trial data object. And this CD is coming from, this function is coming from the start gen STA package. Because this part, though there are several other packages that can do this G by E analysis mm. in R. But the two mm. package that have been really, that has received a lot of, in terms of citation, is this start yeah. gen G by E and STA, and it was is a package uh, that is developed by the biometrics unit in Wageninga. We also have the methane package. It's also a, another powerful package that can do G by E. So first of all, with this great CD, is the function is coming from the start gen STA. So there I specify the TD object that I want to create, that data is equals to, uh, the data is equals to data. I think here would be, let me see, 
then the genotype. Remember, we are, I'm using the code for the genotype. Then the trial, mm -hmm. I, spe I in within column, the trial, I specify the trial as what environment. Can mm -hmm. I proceed? So when I run that yes. line, when I run that line, it will create an object in my environment, which is the Q3. It will create an object in my Q3. If I run that line, you can see that at CD, have you seen it? A list, yeah. yes. a list of six. It's a list of six because list is a list of six. So the next, I would like to skip the Finley Wilkinson analysis because let's so that I will not waste much time. Let's go to the main, but you still get your script. Let's go to the main okay. based on what you said I should do. Okay, so, but I will prefer to run this model because this model, I use this to get the variance components and also irritability. So let me run this model. And the most important thing about this package is that as you create that CD object, you use that CD object to fit a model. If you do not specify uh, any, the genotype to be this or fixed or random, the model will fit a particular a model, it will fit that model using genotype as both fixed and random. So it's doing when you are extracting those comments. If you want to get the blues, the bloops, it becomes very easy for you to get with just one single line. So now I am running a function G by E variance components. So, but in R, one important thing in R is that if you see this, this is a function. If it is not clear to you what this line, this function is doing, if you put a question mark, you can see what I'm doing. And I press G, yes. uh, G by G by E, then I call that function var vacom and Done. I run it. Okay. It will show, it will give you a description of what you can see my Q4. Can yes. you see what is showing there? So yes. well, one thing that is the beauty of R, anything that is not clear, once you put a question mark and you call that argument, you call that function, it will give you all the necessary in all the necessary things you need to know about that function if it is not clear. Because majority of we do all these things a lot. You can see that this function fits a mixed model best fitting to the data in a TD object. Remember, we have created the TD object already. The exact model fitted is determined by both the structure of the genotype by environment table of observation and choosing parameters. So, and it also gives you an idea of what the model is doing is give you some idea. There are more information there. Then if I run that line, if I run this line, if I run this line, it created an object, another object, another list object in my environment, mixed var com, which is what the list of 10. But now from this list of 10, I need to extract information. I run a summary on it. Let me zoom. I run a summary on it. And the summary is giving us trial. Remember, the trial is our environment. Are you following me? Hello? Yeah. OK. Yes. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm following you. OK. I said trial is my environment. And it also show the components yes. and also the variance explained. It shows us 0, 0.0, the variance explained. Uh, for genotype, it shows us the variance explained and also the residual variance. And also it gave us the ANOVA table. It shows that the environment is highly, there is highly significant difference, also the genotypic effect. So, but if I proceed here, this VC function is to extract the variance component. 
if I run this, you can see that this approach, though, this package was supposed to be introduced by Dr. Ogno, but I think he was busy. They skipped this part. This part was skipped. Thank you. So if I run this line, he gave us the genotype and also the variance component for the genotype. Remember I said the function fits uh, the model in which genotype will be considered as both fixed and the random. Then we can also use the ERIT function. This one is to extract the irritability from that model. So what is the, this one, I think, uh, yeah, 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 is for me, I simply run box plots to just show the distribution of the first okay. traits we are working on, which is millionaires. Then I yes. order the box plots in descending order. Okay. Can you run it? Yes, I will run it. You can see, let me okay. take this up. We can see that in terms of, environment five based on millionaires. We have the, high, the highest was in environment, the distribution was in environment five, while the least five. was what environment six is where we have the least value then. Let's go to the main item that we have for today. The main thing, this, is the actual, because what he said, you need G by E, this is the actual function. This is where we start from. I said genotypic main effect and genotype by environment for our still for that trait we are working on, which is a uh, milliness. This is the function. G by G, G, E is the function. And if that function, it's not clear you we can also we can still do a question mark to know what g by e is doing then the td remember i said td is the trial data and we have already mm. created this trial data data td is already in my environment which is this data td is in the environment which is this a list of six yeah then the traits is the response variable we are considering. We are still working on with the millionaires. Yes. So the trait okay. is millionaires. So when I run that line, when I run that line, it creates a object in my environment. GGE millionaires, which is a list. You can see the object. Yes. Can you see my environment pane? Yeah, 12. Okay, thank you. So now, if I should run, remember you are you did something on army and you said uh, your supervisory committee, they said they do not need army. Yeah. The army model. You know the army mm. model and the GGE model, they are similar. You, you know, yeah. it's almost uh -huh. the, it's almost the same thing. Ah. Uh -huh. In the army model, though I will show, let me run the summary. Then I will do. I will fit another model for G, uh, for uh, this. For let me run the summary for this one, so that you see the output. You can see my my Q two principal yes. components standard deviation for PC one. The um, uh, standard deviation for PC one and two. Proportion of variance explained and cumulative variance. So the cumulative is giving us for both is around, if you add 35 plus this is around, uh, I think that will be around 80 something. 80, 83% of variance explained. So the difference is that in the army model, in the army model, you are going to have both the genotype and the environment will be used as a fixed effect. You can recall mm -hmm. in your own and over table in army model. If you can, if you can flash your mind back, you are going to get genotype and environment as your fixed effect. Am I lying or not? Mm -hmm. You are still going to no, get no. your principal components 
interaction principal components. Why in the GGE model, we use environments only as a fixed effect, but we are going to run principal components on all the genotype alongside with the genotype and the environment interaction. We are going to run principal components. So this, the output you are going to get that the environment, we had six environments. So the degree of freedom will be five because six minus one give us five. And we can see that the environment is highly significant. Yes. You look at the GGE, the genotype main effect and genotype by environment interaction. These are the degree of freedom, the sum of square, mean square, no p value. Then we look, remember this, the p value is not because we are running a principal component on it. So we are going to have the two PC. So the PC1 PC, okay. and PC2, which is the same similar to what you get in your army model. Um, yes, yes. It's similar to what you have in your army. It's still going to give you the environment scores. Remember, we have six yes. environments. These are all the scores for those environments. So let me quickly do a demo for, for the army so that you see what I mean by the both. You have seen the output for, if I say G by E army, which is there. This is the first one is what we want to work on. So the trial data is data TD. Okay. So what is the trait? Mm. The trait we are working, I work on is the me, mealy spelling because I need to be very careful. R is case sensitive. I need to spell it the same way. Mealiness. Okay. So when I run yeah. this, I don't want to assign it to, to any object. Okay, or let me save it in an object. GG, Ami, underscore, Millionaire, so that you see, let me save it in this object. When I run this, okay, the object is in my environment already, so I need to run summary to extract those outputs, summary of army underscore millionaires. So when we run this, let's see what is there in my Q2. What is the difference between the two? <laughs> you can see that there's no much difference. The only difference is that in this one, we are having both genotype and environment. Then we are having the interaction PCA, principal component. Then when you look at this other one, we are still having the same thing, but there is no genotype. Have you seen it? We are only having yeah. environments and GGE, principal components. Yeah, what, why is it like that? Why there's no genotype? Huh? Why is it, why is it there's, there's no genotype in the first one? The first one. Yeah, no, no genotype, why? Okay, remember when I started, I said, those two models, they are similar. In the first model, the GGE, the genotype by environment interaction, is going to use, that model will use environment as the fixed effect. Okay, okay, okay. then it's going to now pick the, uh, the genotype. It's going to run PCA on the genotype alongside with the, uh, the interaction between the genotype and environment. Yeah, it's going to fit a principal component on the genotype alongside with okay. the interaction. So that is what we are seeing here. GGE, okay. which is genotypic main effect in which we, are, we use that for the PCA alongside with the genotype by the environment then these are the PCA. Why environment is the main, the main effect. Why this other one, we have both genotype and environment as the main effect. You can see the both. Yes. 
Okay. Yes. So this other one, we are still going to have environmental scores for the army model. We are still going to have environmental score for this other GGE model. It's still, we are still going to have those score, but the values will be slightly different because it's, it's different algorithm for the environmental scores. Can we proceed? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So this other line, let me let me clear this. Because this script, it was an R markdown document. I convert it back to an R script so that I can use it for a demo. But you see the markdown file is there alongside the R script. The markdown file, you can see it, it ends with dot RMD. This is the actual file I converted it to this other file, dot R file. So you will get everything. Okay. So okay. the next thing is for me to run the by plots. Let's see the by plots for the genotype by environment. I also added another one here for the army model. Let's see the by plot first. And there was a problem I discovered with your data. Almost all the genotype, they are too close to each other. There is no wide variability. Let's zoom. But you can see my you can see my screen. Yes, yes. The, the one I zoom in. Which one are you yes. seeing? Yes. The normal the normal one. The normal one. Okay, let me. Yeah. Share this one that I'm zooming. I just I zoom in on another one. Uh, let's see, is this one share? You can see this other one. Yes, Which yes. Way are you seeing? Yeah, the big one. Okay. So I was like complaining that the your genotypes they are too close. So there is no wide variability. You can see the way they are clustered, almost closer to the origin. They were too close. So like the PC one was able to explain 35.1% of variance was explained by the first principal component. The second principal component explained 18.1% of the variance was explained by the second principal component. So, but the next step is that after visualizing uh, the biplot, uh, the next step will be we going further to identify those mega environments because we need to know which one are those mega environments so that within those mega environments we can determine uh, uh, those winning genotypes in those mega environments. So let me go back to my main screen. Uh, 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 I, have, I have a question before you go. Okay. From the plot now, from this plot now you're showing me, huh? Yes. We have a, a close to e, close to EC, we have G13. G13, uh, we have G1. We have G13, yes, I can see it. Hello. Yeah, yes, yes. So all those all those genotypes are they different from are they, are they different, different from the others? Or are they are they different genotypes okay. in those environments? Well, we are still coming to that. Those genotypes that are closer to each other, they are most similar, they are similar. Those ones that are closer, ah. those ones that are far apart, they are different. Okay. But well, we are still coming to that. We are still coming to that in those when we okay. are we are still coming to that. So let me close this and share my share my screen again. You can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, let me proceed. So the next thing, let's see another approach using the army. 
but though I just want to do this because this one is not part of what you are interested in is GGE. So let me put a comment there. G by E by, so that you will know. But it's already there on the top. If you check my Q forward, it's already there on the top. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. And this and this I'm on Q forward. I mean, one by plots. Are you with me? Your voice is down. It's down. I'm not hearing you. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me check, maybe it's my connection. Is it okay now? Hello? 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 I'm not hearing you, you still down. What is wrong? Is it my network or what? But me, I can hear you. Hello? Yes, I can hear you, I'm with you. You can hear me? Yes. Okay. Should I go ahead? Yeah, continue. Okay. So yeah, I was looking at this for AMI2 by plots, so that you know, let me separate them. So this army one, what this one will do is that it's going to plot the first PC against alongside to the main effects. I think that is what it does here. You can see it here. This one, but though I'm just doing as example, but this is not for you because what is main important for you is the first one. You can see it. So the next- Okay, and which one is the main effect? The main effect, we already know the main effect is environment. Okay, the environment. Yes, yes. Then this other one is going to use both PC1 and PC2, that is AMI2 model. It's going to show you both PC1 and PC, which is what we have already seen before with the first by plot. So the next one, the next line from line 81. For line 81. Here. You said I, I said mega underscore milliness, which is G by E mega environment. This one, this function, what this function does is for us to be able to identify those mega environment that are in this our object that are TD for the trait milliness. I am trying to run this function to get those mega environments. So if I run that line, it's going to create a new object in my environment. Let me, you can see my environment. Let me drag this down so that you can see. You can see my environment. Mega milliness list of three. So when I run the summary, that is when I'll be able to know which mega environment we have. When I run the summary, I have a function mega environment based on milliness. Are you with me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay. You can see, where am I now? You can see my cursor in my Q2. The console, I am explaining something that is yes. in the console. I've run a summary on, I run a summary on 
the mega milliness. This is the output that I'm getting here in my Q2. The factor, mega factor. We have one, two, and three. How many mega environment is there? How many mega environments? Can you see? I'm after it. Okay, thank you. So we can see that we have three mega environments. And the trial, the first mega environment was found in trials environment six. The second mega environment that we are able to identify was in what? Environment one, two, four, and five. Then the third mega environment was found in environment three. Then among, within those mega environments, we have what we call winning genotype. That is a genotype that perform that are more, that are more suitable to those environment. So we have genotype 128, which belongs to environment six. Those are, that is a very good genotype. Then we have genotype G13. And G13 was found among environment one, two, four, and five. We have, my internet is not stable. Okay, so I'll proceed. But you can hear me. Is so we have all these that belongs to this environment. Why the last one was genotype G34, which belongs to environment three. Then these are all the estimates for army. But also there's still a new function because this one, I just discovered this one today that we can run a predict function from, the, from the, our object in which we created from the mega environment. What this predicts will do is that it's going to give us the bloops alongside standard error. You can see it's giving us mega environment one. These are the predicted value. Mega environment two, remember we had how many environment is three and mega environment three. These are all the predicted value and these are the genotypes. Then if I still go down, these are the values for the standard error. If I still go down, so we still screw down. I think that is. Then at the end, we can visualize that mega environment. We can remember we save the object. That object was saved to mega millionaire. So when I plot, run this function. Can you see my Q4? Let me re, let me zoom. Yes. Let me reshare it so that you see. Let me reshare it. So when we remember, we I say we have three mega environments. So these are the three mega environments: mega environment one, mega environment two mega environment three, then these are the distribution, the histogram, then this is the scatter plot. For this other one, majority of people is the outputs you get, that is what they use in writing their report. Though there are some reference manual in which I've, I've, I inserted some reference manual here with some articles in which I saw when I was going through the scripts. They are here, if you check the files I will send to you, if you check these folders, can you see my Q4? You, saw, you are seeing my Q4, I believe you can see it. Yeah, reference material. Yes, if you check, if, I, if you click on this, there are some articles in which I put there, I think like four or five articles that are there. And within the article, there is one, there is one good 
paper or would like you to look because they explain all these things in detail, how they go about using it in, and it will really help you. So they are inside here, you check here, you will get them. So the next thing you said, remember you said you need, I should do the G by E and also stability. So we have seen. Yeah. So the last one, before I proceed to the next traits, then we look at correlation is for us to do stability and instability, there are different types. So yeah, this function, I put some text here, maybe later you look into those that say different measures of stability can be calculated using start gen G by A package. Package, I think I miss out something here. The cultivar superiority measures of leans and beans, stability variance, echo variance. So all this is what we are seeing next. And the beauty of this is that whatever is not clear, remember again, this is a function. G by E stability is a function. So if you put a question mark and check, if you put a question mark here and you put G, by E, is this one we are looking for? Stability. So it will bring the reference manual out. So that is what the beauty of R, it will bring the reference manual out. And all those functions, all those lines I will be running, it will even explain. And it also refer you to some reference material, which are here. And all these are articles in which they have published. You can get still get them online. And it also brings some description and also reports. So, so if I run this function, if I run this line, it's going to create an object called stability millionaires, a list of five, and the object is in my environment. Then if I run summary on that object, Oh, let me clear my Q4 again and run summary. <laughs> summary on this so I can screw, I can screw. You can see my, are you with me? You can see what I'm doing. Yes. You which you are seeing, looking at what? My, my Q2. You can see my Q2. Yeah, Q2, Q2. Okay. This one is for the cultivar superiority measures. It's showing us the top 10 performing genotype. You can see their mean and the superiority value. For static, it's also top 10. But if you do not want to get, if you just need, depending on you, if you want to change that line, I put a function here. If you add this line, PCT geno equals two to this function. Let me duplicate it. Let me duplicate it. Paste it here. Say so this shows the top two performing genotype. This, in case you do not want the top 10, you do not want to see the top 10, you want to see only the top two performing genotype. So what you will do there is that you put a comma here and we put PCT geno. PCT geno is equals to two. So if you run this here, so let me say, if I run this, I want to say put two here, top two, so that you to be clear. If I run this, it returns an error. Okay. Remove that line. It 
it should stop then put that line here and run okay okay that line was just copy this i'm coming i'm just correcting something okay in. so let me delete this so that you will not be confused okay so I said, this shows the top two performing genotypes. So if I run summary by putting PCT geno equals two, it will change that output. It will not show us top 10 again. It will now show you top two. So, but this one, it depends on what you are looking for. If you, are, you want to get only the top two performing genotype, this is showing top three, top three. This is showing top three, but okay, top two, top two performing genotype. You can see it there. So if you want only the top two performing genotype, if you you just go here and change the code, you put two there. But if you put three here, let's see, it's going to show us the top three performing genotype. So, but this one it depends on you, which what you are looking for. If you need to see just the top 10 performing genotype, then you leave, you, you remove this line. Remove this line and run, and you get your top 10 performing genotype. You, you get the top 10 performing genotype, which are what I'm seeing here on my Q2. So, but it depends on what you are looking for. Then, uh, what is next? Okay, the graph because in some papers, some people shows also report alongside with the plot. Uh, the plot, if you run this line, is going to show here. You can see the plot. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. So you can see the plot. Because in so I have seen some. Yes, article, I can see the plots. I can see some article in which they also show this plot. But how you but you know how if to export this plot. In your house studio, there is an export window there. If you click on it, you can export it as either save as image, as PDF, or you copy it to a clipboard and you paste on your report. Okay. So that is uh, that for stability. Which one is this? Okay, this one is for the next trait, fiber. For this Finland Wilkinson, I don't want to waste much time here. This one, I will not waste much time. I think after this one is for us to go straight to correlation because we all should I proceed to the correlation because it's the same step. Wait, uh, I have question. Okay. Um, I, there's something missing. I don't I want to ask about the the Bayesian. The Bayesian. Yes. I thought you said you need two approach. You presented two approach by Bayesian or the genotype by environment. <laughs> So I was. I, I said um, Bayesian for genotype by environment interaction. There is nothing like Bayesian for G by E. Bayesian is a separate model on its own that is very wide. G by E is another analysis on its own. Bayesian is a different. Yeah, I, different from what we are doing here. Okay, okay, I, I, under, I understand. I understand, but what I'm saying, um, um, there are people that use Bayesian for multi-environment trial, that's what I'm saying. I know, but me, I have not, I will not lie, you have not done, try that before. This is the only way. I've not tried Bayesian approach. I've been hearing Bayesian, I've not tried that one before. Okay, 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 let's go ahead.
Okay, so where am I descending? Okay. So this Finlay, this Finlay is for what? Uh, though in the package, they show different analysis Finlay. That is why I just say, let me include this so that you see. But it's, it's still a different model, but it's different from your G by E. Some people use the Finlay approach. If you check the vignettes of this start gen G by E, they explain in detail. If you install the package, you are seeing my Q2. So if you just type browse, browse, just write this down, browse. Browse, vignettes. You can see it. Then I put it within quote. Start gen G by E. So if you run this line, it will open a new window in your console with the reference manual of this package. So when you go through that reference manual, all what you are doing now, you will see everything they explain in more detail. So let me paste it in your the chat. So that maybe when you install, when you get the script, you install the package. Uh, let me paste it in the chat so that you see you can get the function. The last distance there is the closing. Make sure it's close. The closing brackets. That closing bracket is in the first line. You have seen it. Within quotes, browse vignette start gen G by I think it will open. It will show the reference manual of the package we are using. Because if I want to go, it would though it shows some visualization, it will take a lot of because this is almost nine. I was thinking we we'll spend just 45 to one hour. This is almost nine. Okay, this one is for the box plots. We have I've already created the, my trial data is what I am still using. So the beauty of this is that once you create a trial data, you create it just once, then you use it to fit all your models. So if I run this, it's going to show box plots based on the fiber contents. It shows the distribution. And this one, the IS fiber content was in seen in what and which environment? Environment one. We have that is where we have the IS fiber content. Why the list was in environment uh, six. So we do the same thing. You fit the model where we I say genotype was both fixed and random. Genotype with both genotype, genotype as fixed and random. So when I run that, it create a new object in my environment, which is mix var com two. Have you seen it? Which is a list of ten. So when I run this control enter to view the summary, so it's still the same. It gave us the formula that the fiber is the response till that trial, which is environment. And genotype was what? Random. That is one, one geno intercept forward slash genotype, which is genotype was considered as random. And we also see the variance explained, which is shown. And also the ANOVA table, where we have trial, genotype, and also residual. Hello. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay. So it's still the same thing. I've already done this. It's the same thing. This function will what it does is is the same thing. VC means extract the variance components out for for the genotypes and also the residual. The ERIT function. This one does the same thing is to get the irritability. Then this is the actual model itself. This one, what this one does, 
is fit the genotype by environment. Uh, control enter, which is a shortcut, then this for the summary for us to get the output. It's still the same thing. We have seen it, the PC1, PC2, the environment, which was as the, the environment was uh, the, the main effect. Because if you check here, I think they, were, uh, they showed a formula. You can see the formula here, trial, which is what environment. And we can see that genotype was a random effect, which is what we are getting here. That is why we have environments here, degree of freedom, GGE, PC1, PC2, principal component one, which was highly significant. Environment was also highly significant. And PC2 was also significant. Then we also see the environment scores which we have six environments, E1 down to what, E6. E1 to E6. So if I proceed, so this one, I will let show one plot, which is the almost similar, which is almost similar, they are all, almost clustered together, which was different from what we did. In the genotype, they are too close. There is no wide variability between those genotypes. It's almost the same thing with what we got before, because the difference between, in your army model, how was the biplot? Is it similar, something like this? How was your army model, the biplot you got from army model? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, they are similar. I don't know maybe maybe because of the number of genotypes. Yes, because of the number of genotypes and because there is no wide vari variation between those genotypes. That is why they are all clustered together. There is Cluster. no wide uh, variation between those genotypes. So for the army one, we have already seen army one is going to fit plot the first principal component against the main effect. So I'll not, why army two will, will consider the two PC, PC one against PC two, because we have done that already. Then this other one, the mega, what the mega does is that, is for us to be able to identify the mega environment. Uh, yes, so if you run the summary, the first model, we had three mega environment. Now we are we have moved from three mega environment to what? How many? Four mega environment for fiber content. Four. We now have four mega environment. Four mega environment. Yes. And we, are, we can also see the winning genotype. G37, G39, 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 G44, and G53, and also alongside with the army estimate. Then if you plot the mega environment, it's going to show in our Q4, which is the same plot. What we, we have already seen this already when we're running the first one. So I will not zoom in, it's still, here is still going to be four, here is still going to be four. It's going to show the distribution also. Then, then for stability, for stability, this one shows top 10 performing genotype, okay? So I copy this and paste here. This one shows Two. So when I put this here, when I put PCT general, PCT general is equals to two. So when I run this sum at this line, okay, I've not run this. If I run this line, it shows us how many top 
term performing genotype. This is called Tiva superiority measure top 10 genotype, uh, static and recurves, equivalence, top 10. Let me clear, it's like I'm showing you the another one and run so that. So these are all top 10. So when I run this, I move from top 10 to top to performing genotype. But if you receive the script based on your own objective, if you need top 10, you leave it this way. If you need to see only the top two or top three or top five, so you have to come here and change this function, this argument. You can say PCT geno, if you put 10, it's still going to give us our default top 10. So if you need two, you put two there. If you need five, you put five there and you run. And you get a top five performing genotype. So in this case, I'll leave it as two. Since my title here said two. So if you get the script based on your own objective, if you need to see only the top two, if you need top five, you will come to this line and you change, you modify those, the, the script and you run it, you get based on what you are looking for. So this line, what is it doing is to plot, is to plot that stability, which will be shown in our, you can see my Q4, the plot is already there based on the result we got from here. These are the, this is the visual form. If you do not want, if you are not satisfied, with the outputs. If you do not want to write, you, you just want to show the graph. You just show, put, attach this, that's all. And write a little story around it. So I attach some reference manual there. I don't know, should I stop here and go over to the next line? Because it's, it's like I will be repeating myself over and over. Okay, yeah, go to, to the next one. Okay, so let me check here so that I share my screen. Uh, okay, share in the screen. Okay. You can see the new screen. Yes. Which screen are you seeing? Correlation matrix. Yeah, I'm seeing the screen. Of what? What is the correlation matrix? Is it still G by E you are seeing or which one? No, it's correlation matrix. Okay. So you run that. So when you get that script, uh, the script, you won't comment it. If you do not have the package, you won't comment that line and put in and make sure you install the package. If you do not have it, If you do not have it, you have to come here. Let me put it there on comment this line and run it. So install the packages. So if you do not have that package, you have to come here on comment this line. You have to uncomment it and you run it. So for my own case, I have the package already. So I am going to, I'm going to comment all that line. I have the package already. So the first thing I do, is that I have to clear, clear my Q2. I also have to clear 
my environment. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, but you can see everything, my screen. Yeah, I can see everything. Okay, so so once I do that, I run run this this library. Core plots has been loaded. I run this. So when I run this line, it's going to be give me an error. Why? Because you can see my path. This is data. I have not specified the reference parts here. So I need to load a new library here. Library here. So here, I put install.packages here. Okay. So if I run this line, I'm going to get an error because I did something wrong here. And I've seen it. If I run it, it's showing error. Path does not exist. Copy of sensory data for biological analysis, but their data set is there. So what I will do there is that I use this function. Okay. Then I copy this. Cut this, put it here. Okay. So here I call the data. Okay, so if I run that line now, everything will be fine. Are you with me? Yes, I'm here, I'm with you. So the next thing for me to do there is to use the core.mtest core.mtest. And first of all, let me, let's look at your data set. So if I run view, view on the dots, can you see the view? Yes. Okay. So this is what we are trying to work on. You can see this is column one, two, three, this column, we cannot use this for our correlation. So we need to drop those three columns. So we are working on from column four down to column nine is what I'm considering. Column four to column nine. So when I come back here, I said that I use a square bracket to subset this is my dot. I put a comma. Comma means that I'm making reference to all the rows. Then after all the rows, I selected only column four and column nine. So for us to see that if I run this, I did not assign this. If I run only this, it will show that this column four, to, you can see my Q2. We are seeing column four is what? Milliness. Column five, fiber. Column six, column seven column eight and this column nine. So now I'm running this core.mtest. This one will run correlation tests and it's going to store the results in an object called M1. So if I run this line, I'm going to have a new object in my environment called M1. So let's see, control enter. You can see it there, a list of three. The next thing also, I still run a correlation on that same object, considering column four to column nine. So when I run this line, control enter, we have a new object on my environment called M. You can see it there. If I view that object, this is what we have. This is a correlation matrix, but we are still not uh, there yet. So, So when I run this other line, line 22, it give us something is there. I attach a confidence interval. So when I run that, 
I got something like which is not good. So when I run this, I still get something like this, which is similar to what you asked. Are you with me? Hello? Yeah, me, I'm seeing it. Okay, which is this similar to what you sent to me the other day on WhatsApp. So, I now say mark the single vowel we start based on the significant one. But in this graph, I am still having issue with those asterisk to place those asterisk at the right position. I'm still having issue because I discovered the latest version of this package. They changed some codes. So if you check their GitHub page, though I've raised an issue on their page complaining, but up till now, I have not gotten any reply. If I run this other line, it's going to put the significant asterisk, but it's not placing it where I want it to be. It's supposed to be on top. Yeah, but it's not placed in it. Let me zoom so that you see what I mean. Let me share the screen. Share which one? No, no. You can see the zoom? Yes. So it's still not there yet, but we are still close. We are still close. We have, I have done all this, 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 but I don't want this to be there. I don't want this significant to be here. I, I want them to be in their actual position here because we can see that this one is significant. The asterisk is there, but it's supposed to be on top of this value. You can see where it's placing it. This other one, what is there is not supposed to be here. So. I work on this script, I think last night, but throughout since morning, I've been busy. It's because of you, I rushed down so that I can meet up with the eight that I, but I'm still working on this line, but I raised an issue on this, but, I, but the script, you are still going to receive it. Once they reply me, say, do like this, I will, I will update the script and send it back to you. Okay. I will update it and I send the script back to you. But this is similar. This is almost the same thing you sent to me. But the problem I'm still having is a significant asterisk, placing it in the right position. I'm still not getting it yet. OK. I don't know if there is any other because I've almost exceeded my time and my battery is running down. OK. Sure. Like so for, the analysis is, is that, that's all right. This is the correlation. I've shown you the G by E, I've shown you the stability. This one is just the correlation that you said I should run based on those traits. Okay. And I have posted a link on the chat how you can get this script. If you run, if you follow that, in case you just copy that code, save it in, with a, in a text file. Or if you have, okay, your system is down already. Is it charged? Hello? Hello, what did you say? I said you're dead. They've, First, uh, I posted something in the chat when I started. Have you saved it? No, I've not saved it. Is it in no, my WhatsApp it. chat? On the chat, on the chat, on the Zoom chat, I posted something. So how are you going to save? Or should I send it to your email? So you just copy it and you paste on your Q2 in our studio. Once you have internet, you run it, you, it will download all the code. Which one? Can you send me, uh, can you send it as, as WhatsApp chat to my, uh, 
no problem, I'll send it as, but I prefer your email so that you just go there. I'll send it as a script. I'll send it as an out script to your email. So if you just open it in our studio, uh, once you open it in our studio, it's just for you to run it. It's going to download all the files. It will create a folder on your desktop, store all the files there, then you'll see, get all the code. I think that like that, that one is fine. Hello? 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 Okay, I think that one is okay by you. You said what? I said I will send a script to your mail containing the step in which you will use to get this code. It's for you to open that script and just run the script. It would, you will make sure you own your internet. Then you okay, download, okay. It will download all the files. Okay. Okay, I think let me stop sharing my screen. I think that is where I will stop for now. That is where I will stop. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, you said what? I said I would like to stop here for now. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, no it's problem. okay, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Okay.